So guys, I flew there so around three weeks ago, I got this guy over here, the HTC Vive wireless adapter, the original one from HTC. And well, I did a first impression video and unboxing over there if you're interested, but I stopped using it. And not just because I got that guy over here, the Samsung Odyssey, but also because after the first session, second session, using it for like more than 30 minutes, well, it got so hot both times that I kind of like burned my screen crane over here yeah so it was a kind of scared and didn't touch it much just for like 10 minutes sessions after that and well so I got this guy that is a heat gun so you can like point it out and check the temperature by the way you guys are 25 degrees we're gonna do in Fahrenheit too so don't worry about that and I want to check the temperature of this wireless adapter on the top and on the bottom where your crane will touch of course I have to say that I mounted exactly like the instructions say it on the website, beside the battery that is here, but it's not gonna change anything. And they put the receiver over there. I saw in the internet there are many people with the same problem, so let's check it out together. And let's see if this is really hot, as everyone says, if really gets on fire, or if this is just an impression. Okay, so you see the temperature of just Steam VR started. So, so the temperature where we are starting. So let's get now in Wordest and let's start playing. I put a timer for 10 minutes, so we're gonna get back in 10 minutes. Okay, so first 10 minutes, we have the temperature that is already around the 40s on the top, as you can see. And if we go on the grid, even 45. And we have uh, around 32 degrees, so the temperature is already rising. 34 in this area, pretty much. So let's keep going. Sorry. <laughs> okay, here we go. We are in the third step. Let's see the temperature right now. We are around the 46 degrees. It's pretty hot. 35, 36 degrees in all the parts over there. Let's keep going. Let's move to A. It started to get pretty warm, so let's check out the temperature right now. Okay, as you can see, the top is getting around 50 degrees. That is a lot, actually. We are on the 36, 37, 38 degrees. That is actually a lot. So I really think that we are close to the limits. It's starting to get pretty warm over there. Uh, we are at the 30 minutes mark. Let's get to the 40 and let's see the temperature, how it goes. Okay, so here we are. I have to take it off because really the temperature over here is pretty high. So let's check the temperature for the last time and it started to get really uncomfortable on this part where you have the major pressure. Well, that's pretty, pretty hot right now. So let's check the temperature together. Around the 48, 50 degrees. That is kind of insane on the top. And we, have a, we are around the 40 degrees as you can see. Okay, and here we are back guys, so I have to say that now like my skull over here, my head like hurts a little, I can feel a little burn, nothing major, don't worry, but still, it's a situation where you feel something that you shouldn't feel after just playing for 30-40 minutes, that is a regular amount usually when you play in VR. In this case I was playing War Dust, but I did another test before with Assetto Corsa, and I'm very close, by the way, when I play Assetto Corsa, as you can see, to the sensor over there, so the transmitter. So in that case, that didn't really have to seek too much for the transmission of the data over there. But still, I had the same problem with a slightly lower um, hiking in the temperature, but still was getting up and up every 10 minutes. So I was around the 40 minutes before it got very, very hot and I had to stop. So what's the situation with this? Yes, it really gets hot and it gets 
warmer actually when you go around your room scale environment and you get farther from the transmitter directly. Now, is that an issue? Yes, because wireless VR is made to actually go around the room and not having the cable so you are more free to move in your room scale environment. Instead, we are in the situation where to don't have problem, you have to sit exactly in front of the transmitter. And that's not why you want wireless VR anyway. Also, we have to say that this has a price of $299 and that's pretty high actually. Like you can get like many different uh, VR headset for less price and not just an accessory. And I'm just very like mad of the fact that you buy something for this price and it's not really ready yet for a consumer because yeah, uh, what you could do and what I could do of course is put some foam over here on the bottom where it gets in contact with my head and I kind of fix the problem because I make it farther from my head directly. But is this really a fix? Like should a product get out with this problem directly? Should a product be kind of dangerous for like people out there because me, you and people that watch YouTube like to get informed about this kind of stuff before buying, probably they know what they're going to because they are informed people and they like to like change stuff. We are VR people, we are elastic, like we know that the technology is not ready yet and we have to change a lot of things, like we add foams to don't have like bleeding and all stuff like that. We spend a lot of money behind that. but. The aim is to have something that is ready for everybody, that if you don't watch YouTube, you don't read the forum on Reddit or the support page on the Vive forum, well, you should have a product that works and doesn't give problem. And in this case, this is not the case at all because it's kind of dangerous. We've seen already like people posting about a real bad burn and it's not normal. It's like something that shouldn't happen at all. So now we are in a situation where if I have to suggest you to go out and buy this for the regular vibe, I have just to tell you, well, wait a minute and be aware that you have to put some more foam under that because the temperature will hike a lot, will get too hot and your gaming session will not be higher than 40-30 minutes because of that, because you're gonna start to be uncomfortable if you don't do, you don't tweak it a little and you take a foam there now. Now, if you have a Vive Pro instead, you're gonna have to pay the additional 60 or 80 bucks for the foam and the little cable that is just insane. But you notice at least there they give you more foam. And it's just not understandable that they didn't go for that in the regular version that anyway is already $299, so it's not cheap. Like you should get a little piece of foam more than just like a weird attachment over here that looks very, very bad and incomplete, really incomplete. I wanted to share with you this experience because I don't want you to get out and buy it with thinking that everything is perfect and it's the best product ever. There's still a lot of work to do. Like the quality of the video when you play is very good. It's better than the TP cast, by the way, so you don't have uh, the green line, as I said in the first impression. You don't have all those artifacts coming out. It's very, very nice, but be aware that you need a good CPU to run it because I'm already having little problem with the 6700. Like I really have to stay inside and many people are having problems if your MD doesn't work and stuff like that. So there are a lot of stuff that you have to be aware of before to get to this product over here. I think that still VR wireless is, is still far. Like probably it's better to go for something only one like we've seen with the Quest right now because this kind of technology, yes, it works, but it's really kind of gimmicky as you can see also looking at the device over here. Overall, I'm not impressed. I don't really like the situation because this situation with the temperature shouldn't happen and there's something that they should have test before and many people are having the same problem. So this is a real problem. It's not just me. Browse the web and you're gonna be able to see it by yourself. Anyway, guys, at the end, do I suggest it? If you want the regular vibe, no, don't take it. Like or be aware that anyway you're gonna spend more money or put something, some more work on it to put the foam and anyway you're gonna have something that is gonna be 50 degrees Celsius so over 110 degrees Fahrenheit on your head, 120 Fahrenheit on your head, so it's not the best. And 
Instead, if you have the Vive Pro, well, in this case, you're gonna have to spend more money, but at least you're gonna have more foam. And uh, yeah, it's insane that, that amount, but at least you're gonna have more foam. So here you have it, guys. This is my rant, my impression about these Vive wireless adapter at the end. So if you liked the video, like if you did like the video, dislike, subscribe to the channel for more about VR and tech in general. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and don't get burned. Ciao.